last few games and in their first three Pac-12 games. Do you, do you notice anything that they're doing differently uh, lately? <coughs> lately? I, you know, I think they're they're playing better. The, their uh, their team's always been centered around offensive line and defensive line, and the the stronger and more violent those guys are, the better they are. And I think they've uh, kind of steadily improved. I feel like you guys won that the battle at the line of scrimmage last year in that game down there at Palo Alto. I thought it was pretty even. We won the game, but I thought the line of scrimmage was pretty even. Luke Falk looked today. He looked good. Yeah, yeah. Did the old line do something that uh, was uh, subpar today? Uh, I wouldn't say subpar, but uh, we're getting a little more punitive on little mistakes because we're, you know, that's a unit that's got to play together, and I think we've got to play together better than we are. And uh, you know, we've just kind of accelerated the focus and intensity on that because we're not making the progress as uh, fast as I think we should. But we. Uh, you know, I can't say it was sub bar, but you know, uh, yeah, we're raising the bar. Is the uh, Hunter S. Thompson biography you're, you're trying to think of? It's Mick somebody. Hey, I need some candy. Gonzo? No, it's uh, Outlaw. Outlaw. Outlaw something or other, and it's by a guy <laughs> named Mick something, and uh, he wrote a book on Key West, a real good book on Key West called Mile Marker Zero. Are you a Fear and Loathing fan? <coughs> I've read it. <coughs> I've read it. I thought it was good. It's, a, it's scattered, but I thought it was good. I like the, you know, I like the journey aspect to it and the free flow impressions. Uh, could use a little more transition, you know. Seems like a lot of people this this Halloween are being decisive on candy corn. Do, do you have a, an opinion on oh, that? I've never had candy I think it's just awful. <clears throat> I think candy corn's awful. It, it, you know, <clears throat> it's like fruitcake. Uh, you know, there's a reason they only serve, serve fruitcake once a year, because it's awful. <clears throat> there's a reason they only serve mint juleps once a year, because they're awful. And there's a reason they only serve candy corn once a year, because it's awful. Now, that does beg the question why they serve it at all. But um, anyway, that's my opinion. And when was your last encounter with candy corn? Did you uh, what, sometime when I was a kid and you eat it by the handfuls because that's all that's left and you get sick. <clears throat> what is your favorite candy? Uh, uh, that's a great question. Um, <coughs> Okay, I like the new grape. Uh, the, I like the new grape red vines. You know they're hard to find. Uh, I like gummy bears. I like Swedish fish. I like. Um, I'm not a big chocolate guy. More of a chewy guy. Chocolate. The best chocolate stuff is like <coughs> probably Heath bars. Maybe. Um, I'm not a candy bar guy really. Um, I'm trying to think what else, what else uh, do I get at movies if I get uh, Oh, um, and I'm sure these aren't good for you, but those uh, star... Uh, Starburst? No. The sweet tart filled rope things, you know, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. <clears throat> kind of red and they're filled with something or other. And then Tay Martin, two touchdown receptions last week. You said he was on the threshold of breaking out. Looking at his tape, there was a couple drops, but how, how did you feel he played overall? Uh, I thought he did a lot of good things. You know, he, he battles consistency like young players do, but he's a real explosive guy. You guys good? Thank you. All right, thanks, thanks